All right, here's an example of, an extreme example of what happens when your low voltage input RCA gets wrapped around a power wire such as this. And I've hooked up my volt ohm meter or digital multimeter. And here it is here. Less than one milliamp. It's just the meter itself and the other end is grounded to the car right there. All right, we're going to play some music and see what happens. Can't really hear the bass. Same test, same meter. The only difference is I took the power wire and I wrapped it in foil tape and then I grounded it with this wire to the chase's ground, which is right there. Sort of uh, what that wire should do is, as that magnetic field uh, builds and collapses, it should be absorbed and grounded direct to the chassis. Um, I can even see in my meter here, it's all zeros where before I had somewhat of a reading, every time I touched the car, I made a movement, it, it read something. Uh, and this foil tape I used, it's just duct wrap tape you can buy at Home Depot. It does conduct electricity, I checked. So let's try the test again. Same level as before. To conclude this video, I just want to talk a little bit more about the electromagnetic induction and um, why I, I did this test. Your, uh, in your vehicle, your ignition system, um, the coils on top of your plug, or if you had a really old car, the single coil uh, with a distributor, uh, used to distribute the spark to each spark plug as it turned. Um, that is a step-up transformer. So that takes the 12 volts in the car uh, energizes a coil and then de-energizes it really quickly and that coil is wrapped has another coil wrapped around it with smaller wire and when you energize the primary coil with the uh, magnetic field collapsing across the secondary coil that induces the voltage which can be up to 50,000 volts that sends the spark or the voltage to your spark plug and jumps across the gap and makes your uh, air fuel mixture ignite and your engine run. Um, basically the same principle. Um, some of your better RCA interconnect wires will have a shielded sheath on the uh, just under the insulation that is grounded to the outer casing when you plug it into your amplifier or, or your or other equipment. Um, it basically does or has the same principle as I did here. 
Um, so you can use this trick anywhere where you are running uh, lower voltage uh, signal wires and you can't avoid um, crossing paths with the with the high amperage, uh, high current wires. You can wrap them in uh, the foil tape and then ground that wire to chases or anywhere in the vehicle, ground it so that it, uh, any, voltage, any voltages that are induced or magnetic field that's created is uh, shorted directly to ground. Um, before I put this center console back together, uh, I just want to point out that um, I've secured this power wire uh, extremely well with zip ties, um, especially when you're near moving parts like this. I know someone's going to say, well, if you ground a 4-gauge power wire, you could have a fire. Well, first of all, it's fused, but uh, that's not going to happen um, as long as you secure the wire uh, so that it's not near any moving parts, uh, plus the wire is fused. Um, no, nothing like that's going to happen.